What's up my lovely people? Welcome back to my channel. Oh, sorry, I'm looking like a little boy today. It's loud outside. I am at CVS right now. I am about to take my first COVID test ever, you guys. I'm so nervous. I'm going to Hawaii for my birthday. So this is like the first little clip. Today's Friday, the 22nd. I'm nervous. I'm gonna go ahead and get tested for COVID because I have to have that to go to Hawaii. Unless, if I don't, I will be, I will have to be quarantined for up to 14 days. So that's no fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a test and stop being a big old baby. People that have been seen do it, they allow them to do it themselves. So hopefully that will be the case for me. Yeah, it's like a whole process. Oh my God, I'm scared. I'm so scared, y'all. I got a swap for on the left. Swap for on the This and this. Yeah, only took out the tube and a glass. <laughs> Oh, that was not bad at all. I feel like, like you know how you feel stuffy in the morning? That's kind of how I feel like. But I mean, a lot of people say that I've been watching, they say they gotta sneeze. Yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like congested. That's about it, so. <sighs> you guys, not that bad, not that bad, not that bad for my first time. you guys we finally made it to the hotel so i'm gonna give you all a quick room tour of the waikiki beach comber when you first walk in it's really nice you can see that balcony back there so we have our bathroom area sink area is really nice I cannot wait to do my makeup in this mirror this comes with some uh, complimentary soap but of course i always bring my own the lighting in here is pretty nice this is your closet area if you would like to hang up anything and you get an ironing board back there more storage space and iron and a safe down there into the bathroom area you get a stand-up shower more towels and the toilet area the art in here is pretty nice i'm not even gonna lie and say someone is using the bathroom and you're gonna be out here there is a separation door right there so you get full privacy with that separation door you can be out here doing your thing and someone else in there doing their thing and like look at this lighting is pretty cool you get a mirror here just if you wanna, you know, check out how you're looking. Our luggage is in here, we packed for 16 weeks. Very cool art in here. Let's look at this backdrop here on the wall. Um, again, y'all, these light fixtures are pretty darn cool. You get like an overhead light here. You know, if you wanna read, you can kinda do like a spotlight kind of thing. That's pretty cool. I would like lighting options um, comes with usb ports and if you want to put your wall block in there that comes i do not know how to turn on this oh see more lighting so yeah usb port wall block stuff there you have a bench here at the edge of the bed the king size bed over here they give you a clock with more fixtures the lighting a couple of seating areas a chair and another little bench also a table really nice you guys another light picture gave us these things when we checked in so you get more storage space you got a few drawers over here if you like to unpack your stuff the upsetting thing was that it does not have a microwave but it does come with a fridge so all of your leftovers you won't be able to heat them up but at least you can store them so if you want to just keep things cool and you got your coffee maker tea cups ice bucket down there tv up here i'm not sure what size tv this is the car rental situation was 
it was if you're planning to book a car while you're here in Waikiki we're gonna be here for a while honestly do not suggest renting with dollar or thrifty if you want to book through them be expected to wait in line over two hours i think we waited in line two hours and 30 minutes we got here at 12 40 is 4 35 we just made it to our hotel we've been in line that long but nonetheless it's fine yeah, we just came from out of the abc store so i seen on somebody's video that she tried these okay i'm gonna try this y'all Very limey. I don't know if that's a word. It's okay. It tastes like a margarita. I'm not really a fan of margarita. I like martinis these days. So. Outside of the hotel, Waikiki Beach Palmer. I can't even get a preview. This is how you get up to the, the lobby or the main deck, Waikiki Beach Palmer. Okay, this is the front lobby. We got a few few places. That's the front desk, pool area, restaurant, pool, eating area, cool art over here, you guys, cool, cool art over here. So, we just came from the ABC store. I've been hearing so much about the Musubis. So I have one here, but y'all, I am not a fan of spam. Haven't been a fan of spam. Nobody can get me to eat spam, and I'm not gonna eat spam now. So I found one that is chicken teriyaki. So it still has the seaweed, the chicken, and the rice. The other traditional wasubis come with the seaweed, spam, egg, and the rice. $3.89 for this masubi. So Gonna go ahead and try this here. We still need to go to Walmart to get some other things because we're gonna be here for so long. So many days. Okay. This chicken look like it got skin on it, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna be open and try it. That's definitely skin. The second bite without the skin. What is this? Yeah, I got, yeah, I got too much going on. You guys, without the skin, so much better. If you like seaweed, you will love this. Our little haul, y'all know I'm from Austin, Texas, so they have Tito's here. Not a huge fan of vodka, but they're taxing on the whiskey and the gin, so we settled for vodka. They had this on sale for $21.99, this um, 700, is it 700? Yep, 750 milliliters, so we're gonna be drinking on this. Good morning vlog, this is day two in Hawaii, and we just woke up. Y'all know I'm not vaccinated, so I have to go take another COVID test. Y'all, we tried to go to the gym this morning, and I can't even go to the gym. Like, I'm trying to be healthy, and they don't want to let me be healthy. So we're about to go get some masubis. Y'all, I don't know where we are. I just had to come to this little area. What, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what the this area is beautiful as hell, y'all. Look at this. Look at where we are. Like, look at all of this. Oh my gosh. 
So we were just driving, 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 and then we finally came to this dead end. Oh my God, look at this beautiful, y'all. Look at how clear this water is. Look at this. Yeah, I guess the, I, I ignored the sign right there. The guy just told me that I had to come and move. So I'm walking back anyway because I just got soaking wet. My feet are so wet. So, but it makes sense though. I can see how somebody can be swept off of that for sure. I'm walking back to the car. We've seen a lot of other cool spots driving over here again. I had to come to your COVID test um, in this area. This was the only place that had it available. It was about a 43. 45 minute drive from Oahu. So, yeah, y'all, this is very beautiful. Like, this is, y'all, I was made for the beach life, so. All right, y'all, see y'all at the next stop. So it is 7 12 now. We're kind of getting an early start. It's in my early. We're gonna go to the, the Lenny Kai pillbox hike this morning. So it started drizzling a little bit. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't continue to rain. The drive is 40 minutes to those hikes. So we start thought to do Diamond Head, but you know, Diamond Head is more of the more, more common ones. So we're gonna start with the Lenny Kai and then go from there. And I'll show you all the beautiful views. Y'all, this view is really nice over here. I feel like you are limiting yourself if you come to Oahu or Honolulu and you only stay in the Waikiki. 
area. So definitely get you a car to rent so you can explore. There's so much to see. I was not going to chance it. experienced hikers, so we decided to come back. But my first hike in a long time, I think I did. I think we did pretty good. I haven't hiked in a minute. So now we're making our way back down. All right, you guys, we just made it back down from the hike. I mean, I'm not an experienced hiker. Again, I haven't hiked in a minute. I mean, level of intensity, I would say about a seven out of 10. I'm not gonna lie. And then especially like when you get to the top part, it's very steep. Not a lot of places to put your foot or put your feet to make sure that you can kind of get grounded and stuff. So at the top, it's very dangerous. Like I would honestly say that. When you first come into the trail, you will see like a little warning sign. It, it said that dogs have died from heat strokes going on, going with their owner to the hike. So it's very intense. Be prepared to get dirty i had to slide a couple of times i had my camera in my hand and my phone in my hand so i had to use one or the other just to kind of again balance myself coming down i had to slide like on my butt just to make sure that i wouldn't fall it's i mean just just be prepared if you're gonna do the hike and also um there's no parking over here so we parked at the little beach you'll see that coming when you come in no parking from june through december 11th so it was best to park over at the beach um, just and walk over. It wasn't that long of a walk, maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get over here, I think. <laughs> People be giving me funny looks when I be vlogging. But yeah, so we're gonna go back to the beach and then probably go to um, Waikiki Beach. Maybe we should keep some stuff in the car to be prepared for the beaches because we really seen a lot of pretty, pretty stops, pretty viewpoints on the way over here to the Lanikai area. Again, it's about 40 minutes from where we're staying in Waikiki. Look at the little crabs. Look at the crabs. Oh my gosh. Look at the crabs. Look at the crabs. Oh, that's a big crab. But yeah, y'all, Waikiki Beach is pretty beautiful. This was not on my list to come, but I mean, it's really nice. Not a lot of people out here today, when I see it on people's YouTube videos, always heavily populated, not the case right now. It was raining a little bit earlier, so maybe that's what got people not out, but it also runs very long. Yeah, y'all, this beach is pretty nice. The water is great. I would, you know, again, not recommend you stay in Waikiki. If you don't have a car, then I understand, but if you can go to other beaches, like I have at least 10 other beaches on my list. <laughs> Look at her. She rode the way. She rode it. That was great. Yeah. You said that was your first time? That was my first one that I didn't wipe out. Oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> you keep telling me to relax. I'm like, you don't know me. I'm <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but we're in Bililani. Uh, just took another COVID test. I'm trying to keep up every day just to, to have a COVID test. So by the time we're done, um, so every day we'll want to do something. We I can have be re prepared to have my test results. So now we're about to go try the Leonard's famous malasadas, and I'm ready to see what they're tasting like. You guys, we made it to Leonard's hot malasadas. So this is the menu, guys. Yeah, so we came to this location in I Aie, Aie. I'm not sure exactly where, but I mean, there's not a line. I know most police people have been saying that they've been having to wait in long lines. There's literally not anyone. There's also other few food trucks over there. Again, this is the famous, oh my God, I'm pouring sugar in my lap, guys. Oh, wow. All over my dress. Wow. Wow, wow. So it doesn't say which one, so I'm just gonna pick a random one. No, I think I know that cinnamon sugar. This oh my god, y'all, it's so hot again. It's very fresh. It's okay. 
I don't know where I would relate it to. Now I'm about to try to fill in. Mm mm. That's not good. Mm mm. Don't get the hoppy though. Mm mm. That's a coconut. I don't like that. I mean, I don't even feel like they are that good. I'm just. Mm -hmm. Church, Jamaican cuisine in Hawaii over here off of Holly Momi Street. Please don't come for me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But yeah, we got the hot air food. We got the jerk chicken and the rice and peas. And the the leg of the beast. The leg of the beast. It's good. The rice and peas. Not dry at all. You can flavor your food with spices and it don't have to be salty. And he they whoever cooked this chicken mastered that. Because it's not salty salty at all, but it's very flavorful. This Jamaican truck is in the same area as the Leonard's Malasada truck. And this was just a rare frying. Like, we didn't even, we weren't even trying to roll up on the road.